this is true this is pray love and today um, I wanted to talk about uh, this fragrance I, I received a batch of samples uh, today to be testing them and uh, being able to tell you guys and uh, girls about it so uh, I was so pressed to test Dior Homme Intense that uh, I like took the ripple from the letter and uh, sprayed it on because uh, I'm already wearing a fragrance today so I didn't want to be like all this mis mishmash and, and stuff and so this is the first impression on Dior Homme Intense I was so excited to finally get to smell that scent and I'm not disappointed uh, for sure I'll be testing it because it's so like intriguing it's a very interesting choice to be like saying that this is a this is Dior Homme you know like intense like intense intense you know it's like very very masculine and it smells like it smells like um, you know that those uh, makeup uh, like kits that uh, a lot of people wear and like take in their purses and you open them and it smells like uh, you know you open the purse and it smells like this like the the powders and the mascara and especially the lipstick that it's, uh, it smells like that it, it really smells like lipstick. Um, and various other makeup like accessories like it smells like it's very powdery it's uh, the iris gives uh, the, the it's a flower that gives that uh, little lipstick uh, vibe to it and I thought like on the internet I was like I can't believe that they had made like a a fragrance just smell like a uh, lipstick everyone was saying that and now that I'm confronted to it I'm like yeah it, it, it pretty much smells like a, a makeup kit uh, with a lipstick uh, it, it smells like that but it is like it is very appealing you know that's that scent uh, it is like it's it's really appealing it's like um when you kiss someone who's wearing lipstick you you, you taste it a bit that li that that thing that the iris smells like so it, it's kind of a it's kind of interesting you know and wearing makeup and lipstick for a lot of people is like associated with uh i don't know going uh yeah trying to uh get someone to make love and everything so it's kind of like a, an association that i think uh, is on purpose on that one um, and maybe like Dior wanted like uh, something that is uh, Dior Homme so that is uh, said to be very masculine but now try to define a new uh, a new masculinity maybe they had a plan to releasing uh, uh, like makeup that would be the target audience would be uh, men i think that uh, chanel did that but i don't think dior ever did did it maybe it was like all the team that were like yes we're gonna make that because we would like the the new masculinity to be more like that to be more cross-gender and i really like it i'm like all in for this uh, fragrance unfortunately it's pretty hard to find I hear that uh, Dior Homme, the old version, was a bit like that too, and they went away and made some like made something very generic, which is sad because this is everything but generic. It's like it goes into another dimension. It's that completely different from other fragrances you see. Like I would see some some brand like Guerlain releasing a feminine marketed fragrance that would be just like that because Guerlain they really like to play with the iris and the and the powdery scents in the 
uh, female fragrances, like uh, targeted towards women. But this one is targeted towards men and it's Dior. It's like those who made Sauvage. You would, you would think that Dior Homme Intense like, would be something that, uh, that would be extremely generic and extremely like uh, virile, you know, with the uh, leathers and I don't know, super spicy and... But no, not at all. It's, it's not leather. It's, it's yeah. It's not leather. It's lipstick. You know, and I love it. It's lipstick, and you know, like the, the powders that you can put, and uh, the. It's it's like that. It's makeup. It smells like makeup, and it's, insane. It's it smells insanely well, like makeup. Like it, I don't think that you'd find makeup that smells exactly like that, but it does like remind you of, of this. This is not like just a, just a makeup scent. It's a, it's a real fragrance that you can put on and smell like that. And I'm going to give like, I'm certainly going to give it a try, like in wearing it and I'll like stay tuned to, to see how it goes, but it's so good. And it's like. Ah man, it so different, so 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 different. Prada Lum, not like that. Gucci, uh, all the things that I say said Lum, they're always like super like clean and whatever. This is like old class, you know. It's elegant, very refined, sophisticated, but also. It doesn't give like a, a damn about being masculine, being virile, being like macho. It it just gets away from that, and it's like, yes, I'm the I'm like I I consider myself a man. I'm sophisticated and elegant, and I embrace my like you know more feminine side. And this is super great. I love it. I'm a I'm someone who's con like consider myself. Uh, very masculine, but still embrace my feminine side, and still, and not saying, not saying that it is something that is genetical or anything. It's just uh, what we associate to archetypes. You always need to to consider the archetypes, rather than just the attribution of the archetypes when you're born. It's more like a thing that uh, grows and develops. And there's archetypes that we can call, for now, masculine and feminine. Maybe. It's, another time we'll have another term for that but for now it's that and this is like this is not articulate this is neither gender like articulate archetypally it is very like very much it smells very much like the archetype or it smells like archetypally feminine but with a vibe that just like goes to uh, anyone like i always say but with a vibe that is like somewhat archetypally masculine and um but for real like if you if you make that like smell that to people in general and you ask is it a guys or girls their fragrance they'll probably say a girls but still like it's it's exudes like self-confidence and power and this is what we're looking for in fragrances you wear that you might like you need to be self-confident where you're like whether you're uh, you associate with being a man or a woman you need to be confident to wear that and uh because it's it's got punch it's very and it's very different nothing like smells like this uh, like I said, maybe some old gam like uh, Guernay fragrance for women or even any kind of um, powdery scent like targeted towards women. But that thing just really comes close to that. It's very different, uh, very eccentric. Is it in intense? Intense? It's, it's, uh, yes, it's intense. But it's also like it's vulnerable and soft, and this is what maybe it's all about: defining the new 
masculinity as being confident and strong, but also vulnerable and soft and gentle. It's like a gentleman's scent, yes. You could say that it's a gentleman's scent. Um, if I see a man wearing that, I'm seeing someone that's debonair, you know, with some crack gable or Errol Flynn, things like that. It is amazing. I'm going to try it. Uh, I'm going to try it and see if I like it uh, that much when I try it. But uh, certainly, like, everyone who really likes fragrances, you should get, like, your nose on that one anyone because it's like I I think it's very hard to find because it might be discontinued or something but this is sad because Zyar has lost like probably one of their most unique smelling fragrance like in the normal lines and it is unique smelling you see like this was sold probably at uh, Sephora's and stuff alongside the uh, Sauvage and it's just mind-blowing. Sauvage also is mind-blowing, but it's like, it's like predictable that something like that would arrive. You smell it everywhere. This one, you smell it nowhere. It's completely different. It's unique. It's very bold. Uh, it's a bold move to smell like makeup wherever you are. And wherever you are also, <laughs> spread love. Spread love. Bye-bye.